Hey guys, Ruben the Rage here, and fantastic day, and welcome back to Sophia Tears. I'm sorry about that intro, but oh my god, that theme! Ah, oh, the lead theme is so fucking awesome! So, last time we left off, that was uh, day five. We should be going to day six, I believe. We should be here. Let me load first, because that's a mistake I keep making. I, I keep not loading. Yeah, we're going into day six. Okay. So, the last time we were doing what? We, um, we found out that Lillian and... Uh, oh, Lillian and who's the other guy? Lucas? Yeah, Lillian and Lucas might be a thing. Um, but I really want Lillian and Mark to be a thing. Uh, we found out Rin has a crush on a boy. And, let's see, Myra... Myra's still an enigma. That chick is still crazy. So, let's go. It's morning. My alarm didn't go off. Or at least, I assume it didn't. Because my dream wasn't cut short. Wow, that's, uh, that's deep. Everyone knows the type. One of those dreams that's cr great while it lasts and hurts the minute you wake up. I've actually had dreams like that. I've had a dream where it was like one of those lucid dreams you could control it. And it was the craziest thing because I was like flying around with a jetpack. And then when I woke up, I felt myself stiff as a board as if I was actually trying to control a jetpack. And I've, I, you ever wake up and you get that feeling where you're like falling through space? Like you wake up and then you feel like you just fell on your bed from like a foot high. But you, there was no impact. Like, you feel like you were falling, but you weren't. Yeah, one of those. I know I ramble a lot, don't I? It was one of those dreams. Sky was perfectly, completely blue. This is Lillian's theme. At least I think it is. It sounds a lot like Lillian's theme. Early autumn. The leaves turning orange. I walk home in my first year of high school. It was also the first day... I met Lillian. Yeah, it is Lillian same because he's talking about her. Oh my god, that outfit is just adorable. Look at that coat. Look at the eyes. She's just like, huh? She's like, what's that? <laughs> hey, you like the sky? That's a strange question. I'm hardly kidding. There's no right or wrong answer. I just want to see which, what answer you choose. Why's that? You can tell a lot about a person by how they answer an unanswerable question. This bitch is psychologist now! Alright. Her voice is fresh in my mind. I love this theme so much. I have to get this, like, on my phone somehow. He was smart. Even back then. Shy. But years ahead of me. My dad wanted to be a pilot when he was younger. That's what he told me anyway. I see. For an art project. The sky, I mean. I hate painting. I'm terrible at it. Sky ought to be the easiest thing to paint, right? She stared at the clouds, puzzled. I stared at her, puzzled. Oh! Mark's got feelings. <laughs> you and Lucas seem nice. You're good students, right? I can research, but I don't want to do the presentation. Oh, this is back... Okay, they said they had, like, a group presentation. Um, This was uh, back in day five. It ended with Lucas and Mark on the phone, and they were talking about how they all met... Um, that How they met... Him and Lucas met Lillian for like a group project. I think they all met on that day. I'm not sure. I think they all met that year. I'm not sure though. I'm pretty sure though. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alright, uh, sorry. I keep breaking the story here. It wasn't the clouds, really. He stared at something invisible in the distance. I'm glad you came and talked to me. Maybe we can be friends. Yeah. You're pretty when, I sm when you smile, I thought. She is. You're interesting. You too. Ah, oh, the love. I couldn't see what she was looking at. It began and ended in her own head. That's a tough barrier for a stranger to cross. This is this game's good. Ah, press one for English. This shit gets deep at some points. There we go. Enunciate. I don't know why I cannot talk. Like half the time I try to record this, I cannot talk. Just because I'm trying to actually say things. I'm Captain Obvious tonight. I've, I've just had one of those days. Um, you said you're from a small family, right? Yeah. Only child. And my parents work a lot. Does it get lonely? I really wish I had some kind of voice changer on my, on my rig to where I could edit my voice and actually make it sound higher pitched. Which, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I just suck at doing female voices. Or at least normal female voices. Kinda. Do you ever invite friends over? Not really. Too busy. 
Besides, there's lots to do by yourself. And of course, my mind goes goes off in down the fucking gutter when she says that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lillian. You're cute. You're adorable. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> But my mind, I've seen too much, uh, I watched too much porn. <laughs> I watched too much porn, my mind went straight off. <laughs> oh, man. I wanted to ask her everything. I wanted to tell her everything. Who knows? Maybe I fell for her under that pale afternoon sky, and it wasn't until a year later that I realized it. Ah, Mark! See, he loves her, dude! Oh, my God, go get it, boy! Come on, Mark! Mark X Lillian. I ship it. Look, a plane. They must feel good, the people piloting that. You can go anywhere up there. No boundaries. Well, technically, yeah, but, um... They do have a flight pattern they have to follow. I, I'm really keep getting off topic. I need to just shut up and read. <laughs> if I could have deciphered that comment back then, then maybe. But no, she's always been far, far ahead of me. Let's be friends. Sure thing. And there you go, that's how you make friends. Just... Randomly walk up, start a conversation, and then one of you just says, Hey, let's be friends. That's exactly how society works. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm, I'm loopy tonight. The morning passed by in a blur, and there's Ren, of course. About time to get going. Do you have any plans for the evening? The last day of school, after all. Try and give her the, the annoying little sister inflection. We'll be seeing each other again in a couple weeks. It's not really a cause to celebrate. I was alive, of course. <laughs> Either way, I might be at the arcade with Luke. Either way, I might be at the arcade with Lucas, so don't expect me till late, okay? Hold up. Wait, at the arcade with Lucas? She was supposed to have a date at the arcade with a guy from school that she didn't name. Some dude. Hmm. Wait, 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 hold on! Hold on, whoa, my, my brain just went off for a second, hold on. I just got a theory. In day five, Rin apparently went out, It was supposed to go out on a date with a guy at the arcade. Lucas wanted to go out to a maid cafe. And I didn't go with Lucas. And he calls me back and says, oh, it was closed. So the maid cafe was closed and Rin's date stood her up. Huh. Oh, man, why do I have the feeling that Lucas and Rin are actually a thing? Oh, that would be, that would be such a weird, um, such a weird little thing to have going on. The, the best friend dating the little sister. That'd be kind of fucked up. Well, I mean, Lucas seems like a nice guy, and they seem to get along, so, you know, whatever. Not gonna judge. We open the front door and walk to school for the last time before the new year. It looks like Lillian is sick again. What the fuck is up with Lillian? Do not tell me Lillian's like dead or something. That would not be cool. This is terrible. This is worse than terrible. I might be off a long shot. I might be off by a long shot, but I know what class she would normally be in right now. She was away this morning, but maybe she was just late. Almost there. Yeah! Wait. Was that Lillian? Is she here? Yes! Oh, thank God. Oh my God. I had a mini paranoia going on that she was like dead or something and she like got so depressed she hung herself that would be fucked up i wouldn't put it past them to write something like that because that's usually how these things go in anime at least it's usually um some kind of fucked up ending and oh, i got something in my eye it's usually some kind of fucked up thing like that which i don't mind that's that's kind of human you know but um no i want lillian to be alive yay lillian uh hey this is exactly how i would talk to a girl i like just like uh hi <laughs> Fucking nervous as I'll get out. Ah, my eyeball again. Seriously, there's like something in my eye. I'm not making this up. I'm not lying about my eyeball. <laughs> I do not lie about my eye. There's seriously something in there. All right. Back on schedule. Morning. How was your cold? What? Uh, I mean, you were sick and I'm... Let me try this again. <clears throat> so how have you been? Are you feeling better now? Yes, I am. Thanks for asking. Even if it took a few more tries than necessary. <laughs> well, anyway, you might want to see your teachers about the stuff you missed. You've been away for a while. Yeah, probably a good idea. Last time I saw you was... So, 
Oh, it's getting awkward. Oh, it's getting so cringy. Because last time we saw each other, um, there was a little bit of a fling. There was a little bit of a spark in the eyeballs. They were, they were just talking over Coco at her house. So shit was going on. So let's get to the chase, shall we? I can't tell you anything, Mark. I know, but not because I don't trust you. Because it'll ruin everything if I do. You, you know what I mean? Oh, her theme is so sad, but so uplifting, too. I think that is why her theme is the favorite, because it's got a double meaning to it. It can be, it's sad and uplifting. It's a, it's a double-ended sword. I love it. Double edge, not ended. What am I talking about? It wasn't a question this time. I know, it's selfish, but listen to me for once. Mark? You said you know how I feel, right? Then listen. You're not alone, but you're acting like you are. That's... That's not my business, I know. That's not what I was... That's what were you thinking. Forget about being nice. Don't worry about hurting me. Just... Just do what you want, okay? Just stop thinking and do what you want. Oh, she's so happy now! You're right. You're right. Aren't you? I'll be fine. Or at least, I think I will. It's alright. You can take time to think, or whatever it is. Meet me after school, alright? What? You're not busy, are you? No, no, I'm not, but... Then it's settled. Meet me after school and I'll tell you everything. Are you sure? She nods, despite her vaguely trembling arms. Fuck yeah. You go, Mark. You get you some. Alright. And I nod while realizing conclusively that there's no turning back. There you go, Mark. Jump into the deep end, buddy. Just, that is how you, you, you handle talking to somebody about your feelings the same way you handle jumping into a pool full of cold water. There's no easy way to go about it. You just jump in. And whatever happens, happens. Life advice right now. Life advice. Terrible life advice, though, because <laughs> never had a girlfriend in my life. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I've asked out quite a few girls, though. Always shot down. Memories are fickle. They're not there when you need them. And they're in and they're there when you wish they weren't. Damn. Hold. Leaning against the school's hard brick wall as the rest of the students leave for the holidays. I can't stop itching my nose tonight. I wonder absent mindedly about these two past weeks. These past two weeks. I'm I'm sorry, guys, I cannot read today. The shadows of the bare trees against the snow takes me back. Myra has nothing to do with this. I realize that now. She may have been the trigger, but this? This was set in motion long, long ago. Go. Come on, man. But I shouldn't complain. This is how the story has to end, and then... Oh, here we go. Hey. Oh. Hey, I thought it was a loon, so I'd give it kind of a female thing. Lucas? Yeah, it's me. I thought you were busy this evening. I am. I just told them that'll be half hour late. Oh. So, why are you here? I need to tie up a loose end. Is this about what you said yesterday? No. Well, it's related in a sense, but this time it's about you. I'm here to warn you. You already knew that, didn't you? Part of me did. That's the part with the natural intuition, then. This is getting creepy. I've known you for a while now. We're friends. There are a lot of things that go without saying. There are an equal number of things that need to be said. God, he's getting all fucking Mr. Miyagi on me. What are you getting at? I'm saying that you might be making a mistake. Don't lie to yourself. Bite my lip. I don't know exactly what you're planning or how you're planning to do it, but if you're making an important decision, I'm obligated to make sure you do it properly. I'd hate to break it to you, but you're no more capable than I am. I know that. But that's... An but there's another thing that I know. You condition yourself to not take the initiative. I'm going to change that. You're going to change that at your own peril. Fine by me. That's how, that's life, man. You just sometimes if you gotta change yourself. You just if it's for the better, you just gotta kill your old self. You gotta change yourself and get better at everything at life. Yeah. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Fuck yeah, man. He turns around and leaves, but before he can get out of earshot, thanks. I say that word just loud enough for him to hear it. All right, Luke's is my buddy. He come to check on me. You're late. 
I know. I'm sorry, but I got caught up with all my teachers and it's all right. I was just kidding. Kara smile. This is the first time I've been outside and the snow is actually falling. I just realized that. It's only been 10 minutes. Relax. This will cancel one of the favors I owe you, all right? Fine. Takes deep breath and slowly exhales. So, you're the one who called me here, after all. Oh, right. Shall we walk? Sure. Takes a while for me to notice that the flurries have already started to fall. Feels like magic. Heavy, condensed ball of bliss pulling my heart into my throat. He's so fucking adorable. I love this ship, honestly. I'm, I'm like, so on this ship. I don't know why, but it's just... They seem like the perfect pair. I would love if there was like an epilogue of them, um, like like an epilogue, like an after story of them actually getting together and it shows like, you know, 10 years later and they have like a little baby and it has like purple hair. It has like mixed of their hair. It has like his short hair, but her blue hair. Oh, it'd be adorable. There's just, that would be like the end credit thing. It would say, it would say, you know, 10 years later, the end, and it would just have, um, uh, Lillian and Mark. Um, you know, standing there with a little kid. Oh, that'd be so awesome. I would love that if that's really what happens. I hope they do get together, though. She's the same as always, but something's different. I'm sorry, I keep gushing over this ship. I, I'm, I really do need to apologize for that, but it just... Oh, yeah, this one hits me. I don't know why. Something in the way she brushes her hair from her eyes makes her look like she's shining. All those fragments of conversations over the past year, those jigsaw memories... They all come down to this. One single walk on one single day on a snowy winter afternoon. Could you imagine Morgan Freeman doing a game like this? Oh my god, I would want... Wait. Give me two seconds because that's now piqued my curiosity. I, I now have to see if there's actually... If that's actually a thing. If Morgan Freeman has ever actually done something like that. Morgan. Whoa, that's in capitals. I don't know why. Morgan Freeman... I'm trying to think here. Warren Freeman. How are we always said Warren Freeman? God. Okay, so my results, uh, that came out of my search cannot speak day give me a moment the results that came out of my search was um apparently morgan freeman to from my little quick search uh did has never read a visual novel but <laughs> apparently there was a video of him reading hentai fan fiction not gonna read not gonna watch that it's gonna be cringy as all get out but on oh excuse me honestly watching morgan freeman read something like this would be amazing but the silly thing with life is that every anticlimax feels like a climax when you're the hero. Hold on, I love this part. I, lo I love how it just lifts up and then just, you know, kind of flattens out. Hey, you remember when we first met, right? The science project? Without a moment's hesitation. Yeah, but I was thinking of what happened after that. With Sky. Yeah, I remember. We dreamt about it this morning. Funny. I haven't thought about that in eight, that day in ages. It's been a year. How the fuck do you not think of something like that? Oh, there's plenty of shit I did a year ago that I don't think of. I'm quick to criticize. I don't know why. I'm in a snappy mood tonight. Of course, I have more of a reason to remember it than you do. It's been so long, hasn't it? You used to be so shy back then. I could say the same to you. Yeah. I'd rather not think about it. Doesn't matter. We get along either way. I guess so, huh? The snow crunches, crunches beneath our feet. If you could go back, would you do it all over? Redo our first year? This year, last year, everything that happened before that. Do you think this would be any easier if you could just go back? Maybe. Even so, there's something poetic about the way things fall into place, even if it is a mess. Like an abstract painting, you know? Beautiful chaos. Deep, man! This is- God, it's getting all kinds of deep today! Lily and I arrive at a small park in a secluded corner of the suburbs. 
Nice place, isn't it? I never knew we had a park here. It's always been here. I used to come here when I was younger. Oh my god, do not tell me she's she's on a swing. And she's adorable. Look at her eyes though! I have to give credit to the artist of this game. I have to let me pause for a minute. That the artist of this game, dude, top notch. You have got some serious skill for, you know, cinematic shots like this. You really are very well done. I don't know if he was like part of the team or if he was like a third party that was paid to come up with the concept art, but Bra fucking vote, dude. I have to actually clap for you because all of these cinematic shots, all these like cutscene, like th these pictures, like on the screen now, like this and with Myra and everything else, and with Rin, like with Rin at the ice cream shop, th those scenes are so amazingly well drawn. I have to hand it to him. It's just great. It's like true professional production quality. Anyway, back on subject. Brushing the snow off the surface, she takes a seat on a swing and clutches onto the chains. I've never actually seen uh, swings like that. I've always had, like, traditional chain swing, like chain link. And then, um, yeah, see, I've never seen one with, like, the metal bars like this. This area was a lot more populated back then, but for some reason, it was always quiet on Friday evenings. I used to go to, I used to go after school. After school on Friday? Wouldn't the place be filled with kids then? Take a seat beside her. Oh, she's adorable. She's fucking... Oh, my God. My heart when she smiled. My heart. You think so, right? But they all used to go to the bigger park down the lock. That's why I like this place. It was quiet. Oh, my God. Look at her fucking eyebrows. This is killing me to try and read this because I just want to sit here and stare at her face for an hour. It's fucking adorable. It was important. Yeah. Oh, she's fucking cute. Oh, it's so fucking adorable. I didn't have much else to do through most of junior high, after all. You changed so much. You think? I know I'm more confident now, but... No, really, you have. I'm about to tear up. I'm, I'm feeling it. This is, this is... Oh, God, I'm getting emotional. I have not gotten this emotional since... Oh, I want to say Rosario Vampire, but... That comes second to Angel... Well, okay. There's a difference between my kind of emotional and um, just outright losing my shit, okay? Angel Beats is... That caused me to lose my shit. When I'm talking getting emotional, Rosario X Vampire, when Skune and Mocha Akashia finally got together. Oh my god, when they're finally like together and happy and just so good. All the, all the little lovey moments they had together. That shit made me emotional. Like, some ships... In my mind, they're like, oh my god, some, some characters that are shipped together are so strong. I, I I still prefer some characters over others, like in um, Rosario Vampire, for example. I still prefer Misere Shiryuki because she, in my mind, is cooler. I like the outcast characters. I like the ones that are um, different, and that's a Steam notification, okay. Um, but I like the characters that are different. Um, uh, the Misere from Rosario Vampire... Um, uh, who's recently, recently, who who did I like? Who have I been liking recently? They're, Toph. Toph from um, uh, Avatar, because I've been watching The Legend of Korra, and it's been getting me back in the mood for the whole fandom, and I've been looking up a lot of pictures of Toph recently. I don't know why, but Toph was always my favorite character from the original series, because she was just different and unique. I really love unique, super unique characters that have, like, really intriguing backstories, right? They're not your run-of-the-mill average character. You can't, they're not predictable, which I love. Plus, they're usually badasses, so, you know. Anyway, back, back to the story. I'm sorry, guys. Back to the story. <laughs> I'm rambling today. Remember that time we went walking by in the school? You were scared that we'd get lost. I think I might still be scared if you were leading us. Touche. There's something sad about our laughter. Calm before the storm. My eyes are welling up. But <laughs> tears are welling up behind my eyeballs, man. It's happening. Still... It was different back then. We had to prod you out of the bus stop to even come with us. I remember you promised that we'd find something exciting. Huh. Might have conveniently forgotten about that. Did we end up finding anything? Of course. Hmm. I don't remember taking anything home. It wasn't something you could take home. Oh, what was it? Lillian. There's something I need to tell you. 
Oh, uh oh, shit's getting serious now. You've made up your mind? Three years ago, I swore I would never do this again. But maybe the answer has been in front of me all along. Oh, come on. I... This whole drama has been for something, I know it. My memories of the Sapia-stained world surge forth, and I... Sapia? Sapia? What is Sapia? Because he says Sapia-stained, so I'm guessing Sapia is a color? Dude, fuck yes, confess! Damn right! I'm sure. It took me a year to realize it, but I fell for you when we met on that autumn day. I hear a pin drop somewhere in the distance. Oh. I close my eyes. You? It's just like before. Just like last time. It'll never change. But... Oh! Are they getting together? Is this legit? Thank you, Mark. But this time, there's no room for regret. I'm sorry. I should be apologizing. No, I... Thank you. What? I said thank you. What the fuck?! Are they getting another achievement unlocked? Confess! What the fuck?! She climbs off the swing and dusts the snow off her lap. Remember that thing I wanted to tell you? The thing I was worried about? That I could never admit? Turns out it was pretty simple. I just tried to make it complicated. But seeing you like this, Mark, I think you gave me the courage I needed. The words are gone. All gone. I'm sorry. Her eyes glisten as she clasps her hands around mine. Her warmth seeps through them as the years worth of memories slip away. You like him, don't you? WHAT?! NO! I do. I'm not sure when I first realized it, but I really, really do. Good. Then go. Ah. Uh, I reach for my pocket and... No! No! Not fucking fair! And I jam the bookmark into her hand. Kept it all this time, you know? It means a lot to him. So by the time he's... He gets home and looks over his stuff, he'll probably realize I swiped it! Before that happens, go give it back! Thanks. I'll make it count. One by one, her footprints take her away! One more thing. Karaoke. New Year's Eve. You in? It's a deal. What the fuck? Dude! Not cool! He can find- Oh! And there goes my ship. God damn it. I feel like that Johnny Depp meme. Stop blowing holes in my ship! Oh, damn it! So it's not canon. Great. Or at least at this point it isn't. Man, come on! Damn it! I really want Mark and Lillian. It's just such a good pairing, you know? Mark... I swear to God, if Mark just goes with Myra for the sake of it, I'm gonna be done, because that will be the most boring storyline ever. It's gonna be so predictable. <sighs> I'm so pissed. I'm, I'm legit pissed. I need a drink. Hold on, give me a moment. I need a drink. Oh, God. Not Gamma, by the way. It's, um, raspberry iced tea. But I do have Gamma, and I have Fruit Punch, and it's really good. My cousin sent me some. Uh, damn it. Alright. Alright. Let me compose myself. Okay. The silhouette that I fell in love with fades into the whiteness. God damn it! I can't read this, man! It's breaking my heart! A memory dies with every step she takes, buried in snow. Dude, come on, the climax for nothing! He just gets fucking just trashed! He gets stepped on! His heart just gets ripped in half! Where's Mark's love, huh? Lillian and fucking Lucas are getting together. What, does Mark not get somebody? Bullshit. Everybody's got somebody, but... Oh, God, whoa. I just made myself think of a song that I haven't thought of in ages. There's this song um, by Hunter Hayes, and it's called uh, Everybody's Got Somebody But Me. Oh my god, I haven't thought of that song in so fucking long. And, it, and it's sad because I relate so much to that song. Uh, it went something like, uh, it's, it's a country song by Hunter Hayes. It's a really good song, it's got a really good rhythm to it, so if you're interested, look it up. Um, it's, um, it, it goes something like this. Uh, I w all I can remember from it is... I wish the couple on the corner would just get a room. It's like everyone around me's on their honeymoon. Um, there's something. There's another line there. Everybody's on their honeymoon. 
come around the corner and we just get a room. It's like, hey, everybody, Army's on their honeymoon. Cup I guess Cupid just doesn't know what to do. Everybody's got somebody but me. That That's one of the lines from it, but the whole song is pretty damn good. Ow. Something stuck in my lip. Oh my god, I haven't thought of that song in a million years. But, oh, poor Mark, man. Poor Mark. I arrived at home in a daze, only to notice a letter sticking out of the mailbox. That is like, just crushed me for the rest of this recording. Strange. I reach out for it, and my heart stops. No postage stamp, no name, no return address. Only, to Mark, handwritten in clean cursive. See, the paper falls out. Dear Mark, Sorry to have to inform you like this, but I realized something today I should have realized long ago. I made a mistake, a huge mistake, a mistake that will hurt both of us. Well, this can happen. I'd like to see you on the 24th of December at 9 a.m. in the place where we first met. You may decline if you would like, but if possible, I would like to see you again. Just once. Just one more time would be enough. One more time before the end. There's a final line written on the back. P.S. I'll return the ribbon to you at the end of the day. I know how much it means to you. Don't tell me Myra's gonna break his fucking heart, too! No fucking way! Do not tell me him and Myra are gonna meet up, and then she's gonna step on his heart, and her and Lily are gonna walk away laughing. That's not cool, man. Poor Mark. Like, he, he confesses to Lillian, and then she rejects him for Lucas, right? And then, n now, Myra might be getting on him. Not fucking cool! Jesus, that's actually unpredictable, though. I will hand him that. So that's a meet me on the 24th at 9 a.m. Uh, this is currently Friday, December 17th. Oh, God, so that means there's at least six more episodes to this series. At least. Wow. There's nothing I could do. I stood alone on the doorstep with the cruel, frigid wind at my back, reading and rereading the letter until I wanted to cry. Poor Mark. Final day? Wait, 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 whoa! Final day? This is the last day? Oh, it's- oh! <laughs> I'm a fucking moron. It skipped to December 24th. I was like, you know, it's a week from- it's basically- it is legit a week from December 17th. So, oh my god, okay. So I, I thought there was like- and I'm sitting here thinking, oh god, I gotta record six more episodes of this? When's it gonna end? And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute, it's it skipped. Okay, so this is, um, this is the last day, and I'm gonna go ahead and, um, save it here. Yeah, over it, say, there we go, final day. And we record that, um, next time. Let me get back to the main menu here. We record that in the next episode, because I don't want these to run too long. Plus, I don't know how- A, I don't know how long the final day is, or else I'd mash it all together in the one hour. Plus, I like the days each having, uh, their own episode. So we can kind of digest a little bit. Oh my god, I'm gonna record that right now, though. Like, after this recording, I'm recording that immediately, because that's the last day, that's the last, like, complete end of the game. I need to see how it ends. I got to get to the ending, just for me. That way, I'll be done, I'll know the story, it'll be over, and then I can get on to the eight other visual novels I have stacked up. I'm not even exaggerating, I have like eight of them. Not even kidding. Oh my god, so Lillian stepped on Mark's heart, bro. Oh, but not really, it's like, it, it's like he knew already. Him and Lucas had this kind of, um, this back and forth. This, this coded back and forth where they both knew what was going to happen. And they were just, like, trying to prepare each other. And then Lillian just didn't want the thing, don't want to happen to begin with. Oh, my God. Oh, this. Oh, my God. This is, this is crazy. This has gotten crazy. Oh, man. Lillian X Mark. The ship is, the ship has sank. Damn it. I still ship it, but not canon. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sapia Tears. Uh, if you did, then do the usual. Like, subscribe, check out my streams, and I will see you guys in the next video. Reap the Rager, signing off.